You will even win again? This is brand spanking new, I'm just saying. It's RV inspection day, and today we are in Sefner, Florida, and we're about to inspect this grand design Imagine 26RB. So imagine you're sitting home in Ohio dreaming that this is going to be in perfect condition. We're going to let you know at lunchtime and the end of the day. So stay tuned and we'll see you then. First glimpse, your job, not mine, your job. Your job to convey to these people that supposedly it's ready a week ago. Oh yeah, it'll be ready that morning. And this little girl says, ah, we'd have you ready. Quarter of nine in the morning, she's just plugging that in. It's supposed to be ready 12 hours before. And that's why we came on a Wednesday, not the Tuesday after vacation, because you got time to turn around. So imagine if we were to come here the first day after a weekend, empty propane, nothing's going on in there. They just put a brand new battery. So the other thing that I have a problem with, if you want me to inspect your rig, water, hose, hook up, water in there. There's not even water in there. So this has just been brought here in two seconds. Boom, drop it off. The guys are coming in here. And she told me, well, you know, you call me or you text me if there's something. Why? I'm sure I won't need you. I make a report. I'll tell my customer what and if I find. Well, now I have to reach out to her because there's nothing for me to test. Her reaction, like a lot of people, well, it's brand new. Whoa. I don't know what you're doing here. Are you shitting me? Um, let's go check what Laurel already found inside. So let's come on in and see my first glimpse and my stow and go. So as far as my stow and go, when you walk in here, you have full access to be able to watch TV and do your cooking and go to the bathroom. Really no way to get to your bedroom unless you actually open up the slide. But if you're not gonna sleep and you're just stopping to eat, it's perfect stow and go. Now, my first glimpse. So I came in here and I thought that the fridge looked a little different. I can stick my finger here and you can see that it's not even. It's really dipping down here, but not only that, watch this. So I can just open it with my fingers and then all this condensation in here. So the refrigerator is not latching at all, but the freezer is. So when I open up the freezer, I have normal condensation in my freezer, but the fridge, yeah, there's definitely something going on with the fridge. So we will have to check that out as our day progresses. See you at lunchtime. All right, lunchtime recap. I'm starting to get pissed here because I got people talking to me and getting me all deconcentrated on what I'm supposed to do. Uh, yeah, we have visit today. We have somebody that wanted to do a come along, just like what we had in, in the, the X Trooper. See, that's what he used hats. to do. That's the men of many hats right there. <laughs> Don't forget, the men of many hats. You win. <laughs> you will even win again? This is brand spanking new, I'm just saying. We had our issues this morning, but we caught up. And since I had help a little bit to help me out with tires and stuff, well, we're a little bit ahead of the game, but. All right, so here's a little trick for people who don't have the whole system and manometer and stuff. We call this a propane sniffer. So it's a top test, T-O-P-T-E-S system. It's a PT-520A. Uh, they sent me this to try it out. And actually, it's kind of cool because if you don't have nothing better, I think this is 20 or 30 bucks max. So you actually start this on, you put it, let's say on high and you wait for it to calibrate. So now it's taking just the air around it. You go into your propane system from your tank in the front to these water heater. So you try to go to every junction, the valve that you have and you let the sniffer do his job. So if there is propane coming out, a leak somewhere in the system, you'll actually have this go in a rage and it will tell you that oh, we got a problem. So if you know this, this is a cheap way for you to do this kind of testing on your own, just saying. Like I was saying, propane tank as well. So you can go around your places that you would actually have a leak. If there is a leak, this thing will scream at you and will let you know. Take your time. It's not a race, it's a marathon. I went on that roof. As you can see in the front end, on this curb side, on this side, you can see that the sealant has moved, it's cracked. So it needs to be addressed, needs to be redone. You were going up there when you visited and picked up that morning, still on the rooftop this rear vent cover that we have. This cover's coming down, as you can see, at an angle. 
doesn't shut down. How big of a deal? I don't know, but it needs to be adjusted, don't you think? This was brand new. This, this came from Grand Design directly. This is how it's delivered to you. But you're right. I mean, like uh, Enrique was saying, it's only 45,000 bucks, so what do you expect? So then I end up on my slide out on the other side, on this upper corner in the front, we can see sealant missing. I understand the trims that you see in the front and the back of that little cover, that wouldn't be detrimental. The little hole at the bottom that ends up on top of that slide out of yours will actually allow water to go in there. Problem, maybe down the road. So this needs to be addressed, it needs to be fixed. The other thing, last thing that I have here is nothing. But if this has been PDI'd from what I've seen inside and all the dirt from everywhere directly from Grand Design, it is kind of discouraging and disappointing that there's no more proudness on cleaning up and picking up stuff. But tell me that somebody at QC didn't see this glue laying on the wall, whatever they put, a tape for now because they probably didn't have this window on hand. And when they finally got it back, well, they ripped off the tape and that was it. We see that often, especially on water heater. We'll see those residual of tape and you think somebody would clean it up? Nah. Way too much work, isn't it? Let's see what the end of the day is going to bring us up. And for now, well, let's go check Laurel inside, what she found so far. So it's lunchtime. And, well, I do have some things to talk about. But the main thing I am finding right now is the refrigerator. It is not sealing properly. It doesn't have a latch that's latching properly. Condensation is building inside that fridge. Not the freezer, the freezer's fine, but as you can see in the fridge, you can see all of the droplets of water, it's everywhere. Not only that, it's actually coming out onto the kitchen floor. So something's gotta happen with that refrigerator. So I've done my ceilings, I've done my floors. Let's talk about the floor. So coming down here, as you can see this mark right here, and there's another one on the other side as well. And I will go over there and show you over here. We also have the same mark here. These are from the slide rubbing on the floor. But as you can see, these floors are filthy. We've got sneaker prints on the floor when we came in. We have greasy marks here. All over the floor, there's dollops of greasy marks, which, you know, I mean, it's really too bad to come into something like this and see it this dirty, but I'm sure they're gonna clean that for our customer as, we would expect it to be. So we still have the afternoon, right? So if you like these videos, please give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, share with your other RV and friends. Even if they're not RV and friends, maybe one day they will. Convince them. We would love for you to all come along on the journey with us. Speaking of journey, let's head into the bathroom. So one thing that I did find in here, down here is a black trim and it is really separated from the wall. The screws aren't even in there completely. And then for all of you people who are tall, we talk about being tall for the shower stall, 75 inches tall. So if you're six foot three and under, you're gonna fit in here just fine. We'll see you at the end of the day. All right. End of the day recap, no hot skin, no propane leak. There's two axles and they seems to be hooked up to the hangers, the leaf spring system. Everything seems to be stuck together. So it's kind of nice. Four Goodyear tires, spare tire is what? You're right, another brand, Westlake, because it's cheaper. So they got to save money here and there. Oops, switch system, the safety brake system all works. The propane was all good uh, from water heater to everything. So we're kind of happy about the grand design ritual that is Typically consistency, especially on the sealant. So I gotta bring this up because if there is no consequences for poor craftsmanship and there's no encouragement for good craftsmanship, there's no accountability and there's no motivation. That is a problem for most manufacturers. They don't know how to motivate their people and volume might not be the way to motivate your people. Accountability, I think, should be a good thing. Put a number on the quality on this. So when we inspect, we can actually have a hotline, call the company and say, by the way, we found this on this unit. Here's number 311 that just got caught, just saying. So that's about it. Let's go check out what Laurel has to say from the inside. So it's the end of the day. And as you know, my water's always after lunch. What do you suppose happened? Yes, it did. It leaked. The shower leaked. Here's the issue. This little shower curtain is 
not really even a curtain, it's plastic, but it does not latch properly. You barely touch it. I'm telling you light with a feather and it flops open and it actually leaks through that. What would I do? I would just put up a curtain rod and a shower curtain. If you like to see through it, I'd put a clear one. That's what I would do. I'd just solve the issue myself, but that's me. The other things that we have found, well, let me just say something really positive. The one thing I can tell you about Grand Design is the sealant around the kitchen. Just check this out. Everything is sealed beautifully. I mean, impeccably. I can't find one bit of sealant that is gobbed, doesn't look nice, or is missing. So I gotta give them that. Kudos to Grand Design for doing a great job with the sealant. So on that note, remember, and do never forget. Hold on, there was an issue, there was a reason why I was saying this. Take 17. <laughs> Relax. He's great. He can't do two things at a time. No, I can't. I can, ad I can admit to that. You, you better admit to it because it's true. They say I can't concentrate and do two things at the same time, just like my wife is filming here and there while she's putting her hat back. How do I get out of that? Hold on, just give me a second. If there's no consequences, for poor ethic of craftsman, of craftsmanship, craftsmanship. Fat tongue, crap, craftsmanship. If it's not about the decks, I was going to say decorations. It's not about decorations. So remember, and do never forget, it's not about the destination. It's all about the journey. Thank you for watching our videos. Please hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and leave us a comment. If you don't know what to comment, just put C4BO, comment for Blue Ox. Thanks for watching.